referee is somebody that's involved in the game, that is there to oversee the game and enforce the laws of the game so that the participants have an enjoyable experience. Quite a lot of people disagree with the referee's decision, whether they're watching it on the telly or over the local park, but sometimes it's lack of knowledge and if they, if they decided to get involved, join a course, come and learn more about the laws of the game, cross that white line, start refereeing and, and just see if you can do it, we give people on the courses that opportunity and I would have to say that 99% of our candidates go on to referee because of that, that experience that they've had. The course uh, is a total of 18 learning hours which we structure over three days. We've got young candidates, we've got older candidates, uh, men, women, boys, girls, or anybody from 14 upwards. People from all different backgrounds can, can come on a referee's course. It's just not enough time in the course to teach them law and show them the practical skills. So therefore the candidates are sent a pre-course pack with the laws of the game. There's a little booklet in there which is uh, testing them on have they read the laws of the game. So the candidates have to come with a, a, a good knowledge of the laws of the game. Because it's a practical course, if we can be involved in them in match situations, then, then that's how they're going to learn, the doing, the seeing, the, the actual involvement. So a lot of the time we're outdoors, we're doing things like getting the wall back, meeting the captains, assistant referee decisions, flag techniques, blowing the whistle, all the things that they're going to need once they leave the course to go and actually start refereeing games of football. Which of these balls is over the whole of the line? It's out, it's what, out is it? now. Yeah. It's out now, but over there it looked in. Yeah. But you can't make a decision from the halfway line. So the point of the exercise is, when is the ball out of play? When is the ball still in play? I, maybe I've got my own way of doing things, but I like things to be very sort of visual. I use a Subutio pitch to show three-dimensional situations, especially with offside. Uh, we might have uh, you know, players' equipment in there, everyone gets a whistle. Everything is very visual, so it helps that sort of uh, learning cycle. Good. Well done. You're learning the laws at home. We're going to teach you the practical skills to get out there with confidence and referee a game of football and then enjoy it that much that you're going to carry on doing it. What would you do to show me the card without you moving? The process is that after the, the practical course, they've then got to go and actually referee some games of football. After they've done their five games, they fill out a five game form, send it to me. I then invite them to an exam evening, which is a 30 minute multiple choice exam and we feed back on their games. So not only are they doing a, a test on law, but they then come in and, and tell us how their games are going, and then their names get sent off to the FA, and the FA send them a certificate of qualification. The full referee course gives them the qualification at the end of it that they could go and referee uh, in local grassroots football. There's courses in all different areas of the county. We're running approximately 12 courses a, a season for, for everybody to try and sign up to. Obviously my details are on the website, so nearly all our information that anybody needs to know about football in the county is, is on that website. So uh, uh, you go there, if you find a course like any of our other courses, book onto a, a, a suitable and available course for you.